Average Dude has something to say about... Everybody, welcome back. It's been about one year since I uh, created this YouTube site, uh, Average Dude and the Average Dude Show, and started putting videos on there. And in that time, there is one particular state that keeps coming up over and over again and again and again. Now, when I started this show, I knew that politics, things that happened throughout the world I was going to talk about, and I figured that when it came to the United States, I was probably going to be talking about crap that happens in New York, or Texas, or Florida, or California. And they've come up, well, I've, taught, I've spoken about Florida, I've spoken about New York, I've spoken about West Virginia. There is one state that keeps coming up over and over, because this state is in the national, hell, international news in many cases, all the time. Ohio, what the hell? Ohio was this state that was considered a swing state. And for the most part, a lot of people probably wondered, why is this state important? Not a whole lot happens in Ohio. But for the past couple years, this state has found its way into the national spotlight for all the wrong reasons. Where do I start? Uh, traffic situations and the viral videos that go with them. Uh, Sheena Harden and her idiotic, for, for over a year, driving on the sidewalk by a preschool, no less, constantly putting those kids, uh, those special needs kids, at risk. And, and, and she was caught, and that was a viral video, and uh, Judge Pinky Carr had her hold a sign. She learned nothing. What a shock. Uh, and then you have Shadia Lane, you know, the, the infamous RTA uppercut. And because Cleveland was so stupid and the police offered, she because she hit him, she struck him first. It all links on all this crap below. She strikes him first. She's now finally facing her punishment. But it started a, a, just a landslide of attacks. All links below. The RTA attacks just continued. They even led to gunfire. And all because they didn't know how to handle this bitch. And of course, it was a viral video sensation. Oh, but the cream of the crop was one that I didn't even talk that I didn't even do a, an episode on. That fatal high-speed infamous police car chase back in November. They had so many police involved in that fatal shooting chase through Cleveland and East Cleveland, they left the rest of the, the neighborhoods without any other assistance. I mean, Cleveland is an absolute mess of cr violent crime. And if anybody else had a situation that required police assistance, wasn't to be had that day. Ooh, links on that one down below. Oh my God! But it it doesn't stop there. Major county corruption. Uh, you got the mob, and of course their connections are in the government. Jimmy Demora and Frank Russo and crew. The FBI spent two years camped out in Cleveland, and they cleaned house. And then all of a sudden, progress happened immediately after these uh, these criminals were taken care of. Wow. I mean, and the FBI has not left because Ohio is still out of control. Oh, exotic animal tragedies. Remember the Zanesville situation? You had these rich pieces of crap who owned all these exotic animals, dangerous exotic animals at that, that did not belong on a residential, and yet he, and good lord, yeah, take a look, all links down below, looked like chicken wire that they were being held, the, the, the caging looked like chicken wire, and this guy decides to uh, let them all out, and then commit suicide, and th these exotic animals, many of which are extremely endangered species, all had to be gunned down, except for a few that were taken to the Columbus Zoo. And then they were given back to this bitch, the wife, the widow, because that's all that she was concerned. I want my baby back. And she got them back, and she's buying even more. It's starting up all over again. Oh, my God. Hate crimes. 
the Amish, out of all groups of people, Samuel Mullet Sr. and his group of derelicts were going around cutting the beards of his fellow Amish people. What the hell, Ohio? Oh, high school gang rapes, Steubenville, Ohio, and you gotta love that the victim, that poor girl, was blamed over and over because heaven forbid that we interfere with the culture of football. Here's my answer to the football mentality. Football is not a free pass and an excuse to commit rape or, or anything else for that matter. Bastards. Unbelievable, Steubenville. You are an absolute stain on this planet. Oh my god, but it doesn't even stop there. Kidnappings. Ariel Castro. Uh, Cleveland, once again, Amanda Berry, Gina DeJesus, and Michelle Knight were finally freed after years of being held prisoner, being raped, having uh, miscarriages because he kept knocking them up. What a bastard! Oh! And the Ashland situation. Talk about uh, another bizarre uh, kidnapping situation. You have this uh, mother who's mentally, uh, she's not quite all there mentally. So they took full advantage of her. She had this little uh, baby child. And uh, they, they were forcing her to do work for them, these bastards in Ashland. It, Good Lord, people in the community saw her because she was sent out to do errands, but they never see, according to them, they never saw the baby and didn't even know about the, the child until these buttholes released the video. See, we got proof of her. They held her up, forced her to do a video of her beating the kid, and then they held on to it for, you know, because that's what you do. You, when you know that a mother is hitting a child, you save that proof for a rainy day. Yeah, they waited until they got into trouble. But they had a bunch of exotic animals, including a coral snake, the most venomous snake this half of the world. Uh, guns were not necessary. Th this mother was so terrified that her child was going to be killed uh, from being envenomated, uh, there's no way that child would have survived. That lady had every reason to continue working, and boy, this even Ariel Castro isn't, that, that's not a federal case. The situation in Ashland, Ashland is being handled by the feds. Ohio, figure it out. The feds are in your state, have been for years now, and they're not leaving. They know that it's a, it's a buffet of crime to be cleaning up to make them look good. Wow, this state is out of control. Ah, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Uh, school shootings, Chardon, remember that one? Mass murderer T.J. Lane, that little son of a bitch, shows up with a t-shirt, says kill her, and gives the middle finger to the victim's families and then smirks at him, and he doesn't get the death sentence. He gets to get away with it. Yay, that mother... Oh... Uh, and then there, oh, serial killers. Craigslist killer. Yeah, don't go looking for a job <laughs> in Ohio. If you show up, you might be killed. And then there's Cleveland's ki infamous recent serial killer, Anthony Sowell. And now, just like within the past couple weeks, East Cleveland serial killer Michael Madison. And East Cleveland is actually the very worst that Northeast Ohio had. It, even, it makes Cleveland look safe in comparison. It is the total crap can. It is Northeast Ohio's version of Youngstown. Those two cities are almost all vacated squatter territories. It's so easy to commit crimes there and hide stuff. Oh my god. I would like to direct my next comment to the governor of Ohio. John Kasich. This guy is a Republican, big whoop. Ever since he's been in there, he's been pulling the usual bullshit that politicians do. Whatever party he uh, is involved with, he tries to wage war with the other one. And what he did was uh, he forced a redistricting of the state of Ohio, which put Republicans in more power. 
What a son of a bitch. He's a piece of crap. And he smiled about that. And then he tried to throw a, uh, an issue too, which Ohio absolutely came down on like a ton of bricks. And he started apologizing and, you know, licking his wounds. But now he just recently balanced the budget with Ohio, which involved giving major tax breaks to the rich, like they needed even more of them. And of course, you know, these are cuts. So that means that the regular people are taking that much more of the burden. Ooh, he's a piece of crap. Wow. I mean, helping the regular citizens? Nah, that's not his style. I could just as easily see a Democrat pull this nonsense. But John Kasich was grinning after his little bitty, his personal victory. Because it's not a victory for Ohio. It's a victory for him. He is a self-serving piece of shit. John Kasich, I hope you're watching this video. What are you smiling for? Your state is leading the 50 states in crap. Ohio is the worst of the 50 states and has been now for a few years. What are you smiling about? Wow. You might want to clean up your ridiculous out of control nonsense that is going on in your state. You owe it to your citizens to do that. What the hell? How does Ohio keep finding its way on the national news for all the wrong reasons? I cannot keep up with this state. I thought that I would be dealing with Texas's crap over and over again, or Florida, but or California, but no. I, oh, I can't keep up with this state. So my message to Ohio and the governor is fix your crap. You are leading the country in junk. Ooh.